you probably click on this video because you're trying to stalk someone. But my problem is how to figure out what you're trying to do. My problem is to show you two open source OC tools so you can learn and have some fun. For anyone who doesn't know what OSIT or open source intelligence is, it's literally a practice of collecting and analyzing information from publicly available sources like websites, social media, news, or even public records to produce actionable intelligence. But open source intelligence is also widely used by threat actors where they gather personal organizational information. They look out for weak passwords, employee details, or even expose systems to later launch attacks like phishing or social media engineering or even network intrusions. Before we begin, just remember, doing this for ill intent to anyone is illegal and should never be done. In front of me I have Kali Linux and I have the uh, Sherlock GitHub page pulled up. And we scroll down right here, here we see Sherlock and right here we can see when we give Sherlock a username, it searches that username across 400, over 400 social media websites and checks if, if it exists. So the way we install it, we either git clone into the repo or I have Kali Linux, I just type Sherlock and it will ask if I want to install it. I press Y. I give it my password, Kali, right now it's installing. And I'm going to go ahead and make a directory because once you give a Sherlock a username and it searches it, it saves it into a TXT file. So I don't want it to save it on my home. I'm going to make a directory, Sherlock, td Sherlock. Right here we can type Sherlock dash dash help. And here we can see we have a lot of options we can run. But the most simplest is just Sherlock and username. Straightforward, we type share lock and I'm gonna type Loi Liang Yang. Uh, that's my favorite cybersecurity YouTuber. I'm gonna hit enter and I was checking out every website if that name exists. But as you can see, it's kind of slow and it's taking kind of long right here. Now it's waiting, it's just taking kind of long. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. And to make it faster, we can type again share lock. Then we do dash dash time out one. So this tells share lock to spend only one second on each website so it doesn't take too long so because if it takes more than one second it just skips it now we type again loi liang yang and we hit enter and now right here we can see it's going pretty fast now because it's only spending one second on each website and right here we can see it's done he has obviously a youtube channel youtube channel we can right click and open the link we can see it right here and right here we can see he has a youtube channel obviously i'm on a different account i'm on my, on my main youtube account i'm gonna go ahead and subscribe and then he also has a Wikipedia page for a Telegram, a TikTok, Spotify. Yeah. In Sherlock, we can also check if the user is on any uh, NSFW websites. So let's check if Hacker Law is in any not safe for work websites. We type it by checking Sherlock, dash dash NSFW, dash dash timeout one, uh, Loi Liang, uh, Yang. Sorry, I'm not Singaporean. I don't know how to spell that name. Right now it's running. And here we can see a lot more websites. We can see Reddit, Roblox. Uh, we can also see GitHub, uh, Discord. And just to be clear, this is not. This might not be Loi Lang Yang. This might not be Hacker Loi. This just checks for a handle if it's not clear to anyone. And we can also check for multiple usernames. It doesn't have to be only one. And we do it by typing Sherlock dash dash timeout one. And then we type, for example, who am I? Who am I? Tang. And Loi Liang Yang, for example. And now Sherlock goes through who am I tank first, and Loi Liang Yang, and then prints out everything. And we can also check for a specific site if who am I tank and Loi Liang Yang are on YouTube. And we can do that by typing, uh, we go in front of Sherlock and we type dash dash uh, site YouTube. Now we hit enter. And right here, it's like, it says uh, who am I tank is on YouTube, it exists, and Loi Liang Yang is on tube, YouTube, and it exists. And we can right click on who am I tank, for example, on me. And right here we can see it obviously exists because uh, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. I'm going to go ahead and subscribe to myself, which you should also do as well. So next up, we, right here we have Final Recon, the next tool I wanted to show you guys. Going down, right here we see it. Final Recon is the only one automatic web reconnaissance tool written in Python. I also forgot to mention Sherlock is also fully written in Python. For this one, we go to the code, copy the web URL, and we have to git clone into it. So we clear this up. Uh, let's get out of this folder. Now we type git clone, paste in the web URL. After it's done cloning it, we go into the directory by typing cd of uh, final recon. Let's list the files. Here we have a requirements.txt, which we need to uh, install. In my system, we need to do, we need to make a, a virtual environment and we do that by typing python-m env for environment, for virtual environment. Then we name our virtual environment. I'm gonna name it environment. Now we activate the virtual environment and we do it by typing source 
followed by the name of the environment we set. I set mine env bin activate. By this right here, we can see we activated it successfully. Now we need to install the requirements. We do it having pip install sorry dash r requirements.txt okay now right here we can see all the requirements were installed and let's clear this up because it looks messy now let's test the files again and right here we can see final recon.py this is our main file we're going to run and we do it by having python 3 followed by final recon by the name file and dash h for help and now here we see all the options we can run so final recon and we can run dash dash url followed by the url and then here we see um, PS, fast port, port scan. We can do a port scan. We can do that at full. We can do a full recon. Let's try it out. Let's type a Python 3 final recon.py followed by dash dash URL. I'm pretty sure it was. Let me check it again. Yeah, dash dash URL. And I'm going to try out my website, which is whoamitang.com. And in front, I'm going to do dash dash full. So I do a full recon of my own website. Full. We run it. Protocol missing, include HTTPS. Okay, we need to include HTTPS. HTTPS, dash, dash. Okay, here now we can see it's running. Uh, it got a lot of information. By the way, this is just public information. This is not any private information. Right here, I see my own uh, website IP address. Then scrolling more down here, we can see the who is lookup, domain name, who my tank.com, obviously. Registrar who, uh, who is server, uh, who is ionos.com. That's where I got my domain from. Registrar ionos sc. Scrolling more down, uh, here we can see the enumeration, the DNS enumeration. Scrolling more down, here we see three found three subdomains. Whoamitang.com, www.whoamitang.com, and whoamitang.com. And then I did a port scan, which is kind of helpful. Here we see a lot of open ports. This doesn't mean all, the, all these ports are open. It's probably just a firewall, which is a defense mechanism to show all the ports are open. And scrolling more down, it did a directory enumeration uh, with a word list in word list directory common.txt. And, and it got a lot of 307 status back, uh, which is probably another defense mechanism from the firewall. And then at the end, it got exported, it got saved in this directory right here.